you want to hear something interesting? And, and this was something that we uh, we just did a uh, series of interviews uh, with these Compton cops that kind of went into all this. When Tupac got killed, when he got shot, and the uh, you know by Orlando Anderson, and when the police showed up, uh, Chris Carroll, the first responder. And, you know, he went to the car and Tupac fell out of, you know, when he opened the door, he was f covered in blood. He was trying to get a, a uh, death confession out of him. Right. He said, you know, who did this to you? Who shot you? And Tupac said, fuck you. Said, fuck you. Yeah. Cause he realized it was the cops. Right. When Orlando Anderson got killed and, you know, this is the, the, the Compton police were talking mm -hmm. about this incident. When, when, when there was this big shooting that happened in Compton mm -hmm. where it was like, like a triple murder or something like that. And, uh, but when they showed up, Orlando was still barely alive. So the cop, the Compton cop was like, yo, did you kill Tupac? You know, tell me now, you know, this is, this is your last moments. And Orlando said, fuck you. Mm -hmm. So the two guys who killed each other, both had the same mentality. Both of them would not cooperate with the police. Right. In their final breath. Right. So it's just sort of very ironic how mm -hmm. it all just sort of fit together. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you would tell that to somebody you trust, not a cop. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like to the end, you know? To the end. Yeah. I feel you. But it just shows. And how do you know it's the end? You don't know it's the yeah, end. Yeah, you don't know. You think that you're probably thinking, oh, I'm going to pull through and yeah. I don't want to be a snitch. Right. You, it's never been the end before. So, yeah. You, you, <laughs> I've gotten shot before, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, I mean, they have the whole Tupac Dear Mama uh, series right now on Hulu, which is uh, pretty good, actually. It's just, it just amazes me. It's, I, I look at it as I, I'm, I'm just amazed because of the image versus reality thing. I'm sorry. I can't get away from that because people, even to have that series, it's upholding a person that you believe was the, the voice of the downtrodden. He was, but... A person that lived this life, that you, you kind of have this inference that he lived a certain life that he did not. You know what I'm saying? That is, that is amazing to me on some level because it's like, not to say, like, well, Martin Luther King lived a certain life and everything was consistent with that. This man created an image at around... 19 mm. that has so pervasively influenced people that you believed that this was somebody who struggled a certain it lived a certain lifestyle you know and adhered to that lifestyle similar to an Ar Orlando Anderson which these two if you took an Orlando Anderson and a Tupac story and followed it that's not the same story at all. Those are two di different people, but you know what I mean? But the, but yeah. the, the, the world would believe that Tupac came up like, um, you know, like uh, uh, Keefe D. Like, that's well, not yeah. the case. Yeah, and, and what's interesting is that in this uh, interview with the Compton Cops, they basically said that Orlando became a hood legend. Okay, Orlando Anderson. Well, at the time of this particular shooting, he was already a legend in the hood because there's no doubt in my mind, which I agree with you, that he was the shooter of Tupac Shakur. Okay, so he already had legend status in the hood over that. Which probably ultimately led to his demise as well. Yeah, because... Yeah. You know, he went out like a gangster. Like, you know, he it was it was a situation with these guys that they kind of they owed him some drug money or whatever else, and it turned into like a shootout where three people died, including him. And, and you know, before it even happened, uh, Orlando was being investigated for multiple murders. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? 